You got it. Let me
Testing, testing. I'd like to call the 2020 Gloucester Township Reorganization Meeting to order. Would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the invocation given by Reverend Dr. Wilson of the Choose United Methodist Church. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May we pray. We thank you, God, for this day as we come to reorganize the leadership of our community. We thank you for Gloucester Township. We thank you for everyone that makes this community what it is. We pray your blessing upon the council as they meet tonight, as, they are new, as people are sworn in anew. Bless them, guide them, and direct them in all that lies ahead, and bless all those that lead us. For we pray this all in Christ's name. Amen. We'll now have the swearing in of our council members. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Mercado. Solemnly swear, I will support. I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And I will bear. And I will bear true faith and allegiance. True faith and allegiance to the same. To the same. 
to the government's established in the United States, in the United States, under this state, under this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people. They already further saw me swear. I do further saw me swear. And I will. And I will. Already started me faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly, and justly perform all my duties, perform all my duties as a member of council, as a member of council, in Boston, but in Boston Township, New Jersey, New Jersey, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution, Constitution and laws of the state of New Jersey. The Constitution and laws of the state of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I do solemnly swear. Further solemnly swear. And I do further solemnly swear. That I will faithfully, that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of counsel, all the duties of counsel in the township of Boston, in the township of Boston, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Mrs. Stubbs. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of the United States and the Constitution in the Constitution of the State of New Jersey of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear and that I will bear true faith, true faith, and allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same, and to the government established, and to the government established under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people, and I do further solemnly swear. And I do further solemnly swear that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of Member, all the duties of council member in Gloucester Township, in Gloucester Township, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Okay. Mrs. Trana. I, Tracy Trotto, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that, I will support that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that I will bear, and that I will bear true faith, true faith and, allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same, and to the governments established, and to the governments established in the United States, in the United States, and in this state, and in this state under the authority of the people. I do further solemnly swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly, and justly perform all my duties as a member of council from Gloucester Township, New Jersey, to the best of my ability. So help me God.
This regular meeting of the Township Council is being held in accordance with the scheduled meetings of the Township Council established and adopted by the Township Council, which schedule designated the time, date, and place of this meeting. Adequate public notice of this meeting has been provided pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act. We are using electronic amplifying and recording device in order to attain a clear audible record, and we request all those wishing to speak to be recognized and state your name address directly to the microphone. The recording device will be still utilized by the Township Clerk's Office and shall be the official record of the Township Council meetings. Madam Clerk, may I have the roll call, please? Mr. Hodgson. Present. Mr. Martin. Here. Mr. Owens. He has a work commitment. Mrs. Stubbs. Present. Mrs. Trotta. Here. Mrs. Winters. Here. I would like to now open the nominations for the President of Township Council. I'd like to make that motion. For Mr. Mercado. I second. Okay, roll call, Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Or no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mr. Owens? Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Here. Yes. <laughs> I'll now accept nominations for the uh, for the office of vice president of council. I would like to nominate um, Ms. Tracy Trotter. Thank you, Mrs. Stubbs. Second. Thank you, Mrs. Winters. Any other nominations? Roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison. Yes. Mr. Mercado. Yes. Mr. Mignon. Yes. Mrs. Stubbs. Yes. Mrs. Winters. Yes. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey <clears throat> and that I will bear true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to the same and to the governments established, and to the governments established in, the United States, in the United States and in this state, and in this state under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people, I further solemnly swear, I further solemnly swear that, I will faithfully, that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all of my responsibilities, all my responsibilities as vice president of the township council, as vice president of the township council, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. So I'm moving a few things around on our agenda. Um, 
So I uh, first would like to ask if Senator Madden would like to uh, address the uh, chambers. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mr. President, and to the members of council. You're re-upping for another uh, another term, and for those who continue to serve, thank you for your continuance. One thing about Gloucester Township, ladies and gentlemen, I've often said in my travels throughout the 4th District is this. 60 plus thousand, 65,000 people. But when you go to the area, it's this homegrown, close-knit community. I also have or Laurel Springs, and there's these little... I would say historical points of those towns where you could live there for 25 years and someone will say, oh, you live in the Smith house and because that was the Smith house in the 1900s and things like that. But with the outburst of Gloucester Township, particularly in the 60s and the 70s and 80s as time went on, the birthing of new schools and different regions and the growth of your fire departments and police departments. When I was a young trooper, we used to play... Uh, softball against the Gloucester Township uh, Police Department for simply a beer game, to be quite honest with you. And we would play in a, a field there, and I think you had 35 officers or something like that. And what's been neat as a, as a senator is simply that as I travel in the different pockets, wherever I go, people are always smiling, whether it's opening day at the softball, whether it's the cheerleading competitions or the awards that are given out at Highland High School, the list goes on and on. And I, uh, I think it must be a pretty neat thing when you have a council that loves what they do, which you have here. In my travels, uh, I see a lot of the good and I see a lot of the challenges politically. But to the leadership within Gloucester Township that is sitting behind me, that represent you, I'm extremely proud of them. They are truly friends, but they are friends in a good way that, you know, they're a phone call away and working in partnership with their needs at the county and state level. It just makes, uh, it's a great experience from my part. But I would Souther say that they get it, that it's about the people. And every time I'm with them, that's what they talk about. And David, my friend David, Mayor David Mayer, you know, I, I met David when I left the New Jersey State Police in 2003 to run for the Senate. It's the first time I met this young man. And by then he was, uh, there was a group called the Young Democrats, and he was always very proud that he was able to join that. I was not because I was like 10 or 15 years older than that. But uh, it's always about the people, the special needs children, the ability to play in a park with their families. You want to get a real good piece of what life could be like living in the world of a disabled child, you know, that where they have no evil, everything is loving and hugs and things of this nature. You look at, you have your citizens parking out on the boy, uh, Black Horse Pike where people who have contributed immensely for no other reason can get back to a community and just be a good citizen to have your local governments be able to stand and try to acknowledge and recognize those people and simply say thank you. And the list goes on and on. This will start a new year. And in this chamber, periodically throughout the next, the upcoming weeks, there will be people from your town, those 65,000 plus people that will be recognized for their academic excellence, for their contributions to the community, for the wellness of individuals. Various religious leaders from all faiths will be here presenting prayer and counsel and the things of this nature. So I just, in, a, in rather a little bit of a long way, I'm just trying to establish and say to you wholeheartedly that your community, as big as it is, it is so tight and small. And it's a uniqueness because I don't see that in my travels without the state in something this large. And I think it's the people that believe in where they're at. They're here because of the schools. If you have children, correct. You're here because of the safety provided. You have an awesome chief here, an FBINA graduate, Dave Harkins. I've known David for most of his entire career. And I'm very, very proud of your leadership. Let's try to do the best that I can for you. I've made a personal vow. I would never embarrass the people to the board form that I represent. But I continue to, uh, to embrace and be thankful for partnerships I have with the most esteemed leaders, such as I have sitting here at the panel behind me. So under the leadership of David Mayer, Council President Orlando Mercado and the team, I just want to wish each of you a very health, healthy and prosperous new year. 
and may the hand of God guide you and your families as you move forward. But thank you again for uh, allowing me, Mr. President, a few minutes to just say hi. And I noticed the clock wasn't running. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Some That's later program. on, Senator. God bless you. <laughs> just by way of introduction, I feel pretty neat because she's done her graduate, her graduate, her doctorate. So she's able to travel with me as she is on. So I'm glad she's with me. But I just wanted to introduce Patty to the group also. We are also joined this evening by Assemblywoman Gabrielle Moscow. Gabby? Good evening, everyone. I just want to take an opportunity to say thank you to uh, the Council President, but I also just want to say congratulations to Council President Orlando Mercado, Tracy, Michael, and Andrea. You've done a fantastic job, so congratulations on your re-election. Um, uh, just most of all, I just want to say that I, not only I am proud to represent the fourth legislative district in Gloucester Township being one of my towns that Fred and Paul and I represent uh, so diligently and proudly, but I'm also, as most of you already know, I also live in here in Gloucester Township. So I have to say that I was in the uh, outlets earlier today shopping and I saw the progress that we are doing here in Gloucester Township, and it only could happen because you have great leaders like the individuals that are sitting on the dais and also a great mayor. Um, and, it, and we have to continue that progress. And I am so proud to see that actually Dave and Buster's is actually being built and it's coming and I'm excited. And I know because we're gonna draw a lot of individuals to visit Gloucester Township and most likely they're gonna fall in love with Gloucester Township like I did and decide to stay and raise a family like I am doing. So I just wanna to say to council members and to the mayor, thank you so much for your passion and dedication to this community, to the people of Gloucester Township for belief that this is an extraordinary community and how it can grow and thrive and and, all, and it can only happen if all of us work together. So thank you for your leadership and I congratulate you all. And most of all, I congratulate the residents of Gloucester Township because everybody, you know, the residents here in this community are winners because of the progress that we see in this town. So uh, thank you again and God bless. Sir, again, Michelle again, take me. Thank you. I'll keep it short because you know the mayor will get me later. <laughs> so uh, again, um, as a resident of Gloucester Township, I want to thank all of you for everything that you do every year. It's so exciting to see all the new things that are coming to Gloucester Township. I remember uh, being here, goodness, 27 years ago when there was pretty much nothing around. And now... Um, what we have built Gloucester Township into is pretty amazing. So I thank all of you. I miss you. I miss this room. <laughs> so, uh, and to the residents again, um, I think the Senator is correct. So I, I've been to many other towns and I love all the towns, but I have to tell you, Gloucester Township people are really nice. So um, I'm just thankful to be a part of you. And, um, and I do visit the outlets as well. <laughs> So I thank you, thank you to the council and my husband for bringing it. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Happy holiday. I, uh, I moved the public comments, excuse me, the comments from our council members um, up in our agenda. Um, we normally tend to have it at the end of our agenda, but I want to have it before anyone ducks out. Because sometimes when we get into the business, it gets a little drier. Um, so I'm going to uh, ask Mrs. Stubbs if you have any comments that you'd like to make. I'll give you some time to think about it, but before she does, uh, this is An Andrew was first elected to council in 2015. Uh, she will now be starting her second term. She's lived in our township since uh, 2000, uh, has been a highly respected educator uh, in serving leadership positions in our township and three schools serving as principal and recently retired this past February in 2019 as the principal of Blackwood Elementary School. Um, she has two wonderful children that we've had an opportunity to get to know over the years, Wellington and India, and uh, we're so happy to have you back. Thank you. Um, it, it's, I can't tell you just 
my feelings of being able to serve in my community. I've always felt that I've done that through my uh, position as an educator, which we know goes far beyond just teaching. Um, it just warms my heart to work with a group of people who are dedicated and want to see the best for our community, for all of you. And I'm just so humbled that I'm able to serve a second term and to continue to put in, put forward good works, do the best, uh, I guess, to my ability and um, serve you. So thank you. Uh, next is Mr. Mignon. Uh, Ms. Mignon uh, has been a resident of Gloucester Township since 2000. Uh, he lives in the southern part of our town uh, with his wife, Tara, and his two children, Isabella and Luke. Um, raised in Southwest Philly, very proud of it. Always tells us about it. <laughs> and um, he's a director of radiology at Lower Buck Hospital. And for many years was involved with Erie Little League. And was very proud that he led a, a all to a championship, a state championship of 2013 team. Um, but what I'm most proud about what Michael does is that a few years ago, uh, we had tasked him to help us with Field of Dreams and getting that off the ground. And he spends every Saturday uh, for two months and a half on that field, either coaching, pitching, or announcing. Uh, this is Michael's uh, start of his second term. He was elected in 2015 as well. So congratulations, Michael. Thank you. I'd like to start off by saying I do look forward to serving this wonderful township of Gloucester for the next four years. I uh, thank you for all coming out tonight, uh, the support from all our friends here. I, I really do appreciate it. I know everyone up here appreciates it also. Uh, now I'm going to focus on my family, my family sitting over here to the right. Uh, my Aunt Moochie and Uncle Frank, I appreciate all the support coming here uh, from day one. I really do appreciate it. Dad. Not enough time for me to say thank you for being the mentor of my life. To my wife, Tara, I love you. Thank you for uh, sacrificing me coming here every three Mondays out of the month. Uh, uh, and the support that you give me. To my kids, Luke and Isabella, find something to be enthusiastic and passionate about and have the confidence to go out and get it. Thank you all. Look forward to serving another four years. Next is Councilwoman or Vice President Tracy Trotter. Tracy was born and raised in Washington Township, moved to Glendora in 1996, the Glendora section of our town, and um, lives there with her husband, Nick. They just celebrated their 30th anniversary. Uh, they have two children, um, Nicholas and Anthony, who both make them very proud. They're both in college right now. Um, and she works as a community development manager at the American Cancer Society. And how I came to know Tracy is that she approached council back in 2009 and talked about bringing a program called Relay for Life here. We knew nothing about it. And she told us about how it was a fundraiser or an event to bring awareness to the individuals that have cancer. And she showed leadership there. And it was one of those conversations where I leaned over to Glenn B. King, your former council president, like, we need to get her involved. <laughs> and we got her involved. Uh, this is will be the start of Tracy's third term on council. Congratulations, Tracy. Thank you. I, uh, thank you to my family and my dad for uh, being a part of the swearing in tonight. As Michael said, our families uh, do sacrifice at times. Um, there are time with them. There's been many nights, many weekends that I've had to um, work as a member of council and, and be with the community, which I do enjoy, but I've missed some things along the way. And I do appreciate my family's support and understanding um, during those times and uh, for not giving me too hard of a time. Um, as far as my time on council, I want to thank everyone for your support, the community's support. When I started this journey eight years ago, I didn't think I could do this, that I would have the confidence to sit up here and face the challenges and the difficult decisions that sometimes we have to make as council people. But having the support of my family, the community, my fellow council uh, members, I know that I'm doing the absolute best that I can do. 
And just on a little side note, I have to share this. The confidence that you all have given me in my professional life as a community development manager, when I started that journey with Relay for Life so, so many years ago, Gloucester Township was a part of that. And we raised about, what, $80,000 for our event. Um, since then, I've grown in my position, grown in my confidence, and I'm proud to say, and I truly believe because of the work that you all have supported me with and, and given me that confidence to get out there in the community and ask for those dollars, I just surpassed $600,000 for making strides against breast cancer. <laughs> over to me about six months ago and I turned that event around but my point is if I can do that and feel the confidence and the strength from you all I am thankful but it's anyone can do it thank you all for that Earlier today, um, I called Tracy and I said, Tracy, I'm getting soft because last night I jotted a few things down and as I was writing it, I got a little emotional. And I'm looking at Mignon over there, I got a little emotional too. <laughs> and um, But I want to thank you all for coming out this evening. And um, I'm blessed that my colleagues here on council are confident in my abilities um, to continue to serve as president. I, I thank you for your support, and more importantly, your friendship. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, continuing my partnership with the mayor. David and I, we met 17 years ago um, at a council meeting in January. He was sitting on the end where Mr. Mignon's at, and I got appointed to a human relations committee. Now, Dave only served 10 months on council, so it wasn't long term yet. Um, but Dave, after the meeting, came up to me and said hello, and we started talking, and he told me that uh, we were talking, and he said that he worked in camp, and I worked in camp at the time. He said, let's have lunch. So we went to a Puerto Rican restaurant on Market Street called Hector's Place. And Dave was there trying to eat an empanada <laughs> with a fork <laughs> and a knife. <laughs> My mom's shaking her head over there. <laughs> so you eat it with your hands. And, but ever since that that uh, lunch that we've had, you've always been supportive, with me, supportive of me, and I thank you very much. Um, thank you to our clerk, uh, Nancy Power, who keeps us in line, Mr. Farmer, who keeps me out of legal trouble, and all of council, uh, Chief Harkins, and Mr. Lechner, and Mr. Karsh. You're all part of our team here on Monday nights, and I appreciate your professionalism and the friendship that you've had for all of us. Um, I want to thank my family. Um, all right. I'm, sorry, I'm getting soft. You're right, Tracy. Tracy says I'm hugging people now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, put the time on. Um, I want to thank my family. Um, I start with Monica. My Monica, um, we had an opportunity to meet by chance a few years ago, and we created a life together. Um, she's been a wonderful partner in every challenge that we had to confront over the last few years. And I love the home that we built together for our boys, and I depend a great deal on her love and support. Um, along with Monica came a little boy called Christian from Big C. Um, he couldn't pronounce my name. He would call me Herlando. And, but now he calls me Dad. <laughs> my sisters are loving this. <laughs> so but what he's done is he's kept me from becoming a crotchety old man because I see life through the eyes of a six-and-a-half-year-old boy. Make me cry, I'll get I'm angry. sorry. Lastly, <laughs> yeah. there's my son, Alex. Um, many of you have seen him over the years here. He has a mustache now. <laughs> he drives. He goes to college. Um, <laughs> um, he's been with me throughout all this. Um, he's been with me through all this, and every decision I make over the last 18 and a half years, 
just to give him a better life. Better than mine. Thank you. So, I'm sorry. Um, so, throughout my 15 years of public service, I've been on council for 15 years. And uh, what I haven't forgotten is that <laughs> I know. I, I'm the son of immigrants. Um, my parents both came to this country from Puerto Rico to the state seeking a better life. Uh, my father was a migrant worker with a third grade education, became a, but became a small business owner in Swedesboro, running a grocery store that he had for 24 years until he passed away. My mother, unfortunately, became a widow at the age of 37 with three kids. My father had no life insurance, no 401k, no pension, some of the things that we enjoy. Um, but what he did leave us was with a building and a business that he owned outright. And we used that to keep us afloat. And if it wasn't for my mother's stubbornness that we're not going to allow his death to be the end of us, I don't know where we would be. My parents, particularly my mother, provided my sisters and I a tremendous foundation of morals and values that we still use every day. We we're encouraged to do well in school, be active in our church, and to think of others. We weren't rich. In fact, we were under the poverty line, but we had each other. And my mother made sure we stayed together. But we also had people that rooted for us, people that wanted to see us succeed. The pastor who came to our house the week my father died with an envelope of money from the church. The parents of our friends who invited my sisters and I to things to keep us busy. Or the teacher who showed an interest in my older sister, Lisa, saw that she had academic promise, helped her navigate her way to getting to college. And then Lisa helped me navigate the way to get in college. And then we helped Christine get into college. This and several other stories um, made me want to make other people's lives better, make it easier for them. How can I help? So most Sunday mornings, um, you will find me in the back bench at Choose United Methodist Church, back pew. I sit there thinking that the pastor can't see me, but he can. And <laughs> there are times he probably thinks I'm sleeping or thinking of other things. But um, the things I think, I, I take things away from his message. To be kind, to find peace, to be a friend to others. And to lastly think of the least, the last, and the lost. That guy is what I do here every day. Um, it may sound corny, you know, but um, it's part of the American dream. And I think that's what all of us want here, to make our lives a better community, make it better for our children. And I think that's what the mayor and council does each day, struggling to make sure that every person has an opportunity to have a better life. One of my favorite movies is It's a Wonderful Life. And I've referenced this uh, in a council meetings before. And when Clarence, who was the angel, uh, second class, correct? He didn't have wings. Um, he tells George Bailey, strange, isn't it? Each man's life touches so many other lives. We're all in this together. And uh, we're all connected. I'm sorry I took up so much time. I'm sorry I'm crying like a fool up here. Um, <laughs> But again, I want to thank my family, my mother Myrna, my sister Lisa, Christine, Gugu, my brother-in-law Dave, uh, Alex, my son Christian, my son Monica, love of my life, and my mom, uh, Luciana, who's her mother. So thank you very much. Um, may God bless you all. And let's move forward with our meeting before so I'm crying. <laughs> um, 
one last thing. I do have a presentation for all those before council, before we get to our meeting. So can everyone from council meet me down in front of the table? Everyone. He doesn't know what this is. No one knows what it is. So I have always been envious of when I and the senator has a lapel, this huge lapel. And Dave used to, when he was in the assembly, had a huge lapel. And I was always envious of the lapel. And so I would ask, a couple years ago, I asked Nancy, I said, hey, can we get a lapel for council? And she was, well, it's going to cost a lot because there's only seven of them. <laughs> and it would be like $10 a kid. Um, it didn't matter. So um, this year, I got all of you guys a lapel. It's Gloucester Township that says at the bottom of council member. So, yeah. Dave, keep it in Michael. Like the size of a half Come back on camps today. We'll get a good one. <laughs> He can't see it. Come on. Arkansas list of special officers and crossing guards read by the township clerk. Hannah Akrig, Nicholas Dimitor, Brian Horn, Matthew Jefferson, Jan Maketo, Nicholas Myers, Austin Reynolds, Kirsten Stone, Ryan Andrick, Michael Dilks, David Honey, Tyler Kemery, Christian Melendez, Tyler Nicolella, Kevin Ritz, Mario Tassi, Colby Creek, Joseph De Palma, Daniel Herf, 
Ryan Kozak, David Maloney, Quentin Owens, Nicholas Saren, Nicholas Dayton, Jonathan Girage, Jacob Hunt, Corinne Lewis, Jennifer Mank, Markin Quint Quintagon, John Stanley, Class 2, Dominic Coppola, James Mondelli, James Dougherty, Edward Bryant, Chris Jones. Crossing guards, Joseph Andercola Sr., Gertrude Bragg, Joan Shupp, Suzanne Von Gronigan, Regina Rolera, and Robin Speed. Mayor's appointments read by the township clerk. 2020 board appointments, Lakewood, Blackwood Lake Advisory, Robert Irvine for a two-year term, Paul Bears, two-year term, Robert Keller, two-year term, Kenneth Davidson, two-year term, Historic and Scenic Preservation, Dorothy Morley, five-year term, Housing Authority, Scott Marks, five-year term, Zoning Board, Frank Samaralia, four-year term, Arlene Chimeno, four-year term, Dorset Kelly, alternate number four, two-year term. Planning Board, Daniel Hutchison, Council Liaison for a one-year term. Michelle Marks, Class 4 for a two-year term. Antonio Guevara, Class 2 for a one-year term. Andrea McPherson, Class 4 for a four-year term. Jacqueline Bradley, Class 4 for a two-year term. Gianna Rosia, Alternate, Number 1 for a two-year term. Jason Hojnaski, Class 1 is the mayor's designate. Next 2020 professional appointments, Municipal Court Chief Prosecutor and Municipal Prosecutor Daniel Long and Christopher Long of Wade Long Wood and Long LLC, Municipal General Labor Council, Archer and Greiner, Municipal Bond Council, Parker McKay, Special Counsel Special Litigation, Archer and Greiner, Financial Advisor, Acacia Financial Group Incorporated, Engineer of Sidewalks, Land Dimensions, Engineer of Streets, Remington and Vernick, Engineer of Recreation, Pettit Associates, LLC, Engineer of Storm Drainage, Consulting Engineer Services, Energy Consultant, Blue, Blue Sky Power, Redevelopment Planner, Architect, TNM Associates, Media Consultant, Blue Wire Media, Economic Development Consultant, Triad Associates, Redevelopment Engineer, Pettit Associates, LLC, Land Use Attorney, Gibbons, PC, Architect, J.F. Kernan, McKernan, Jr., Clinical Social Worker, Michelle Selfridge, Grants, CDBJ Consultant, Triad Associates, Municipal Auditor, Bowman & Company, Municipal Defender, Glenn Neary, Substance Abuse Advocate, Genesis, Special Projects Engineer, CME Associates, Tax Appeal Consultant, Professional Property Appraisers Incorporated, Environmental Engineer, CME Associates, Landscape Architect, CME Associates, Special Tax Appeal Consultant, Blau & Blau. Resolution number one, resolution establishing order of business for the Township of Gloucester. Entertain a motion. So moved. Second. On the question, roll call please. Mr. Hutchison. Yes. Mr. Mignon. Yes. Mr. Owens. Oh, Mrs. Stubbs. Yes. Ms. Resolution of the Township Council of the Township of Gloucester, Camden County, New Jersey, establishing rules of order and conduct for all Council regular work sessions and special meetings of the Township Council. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Trotto? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Trotto? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes.
Resolution number four. Resolution appointing the township auditor. We have a motion. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Resolution appointing the Gloucester Township Public Agency Compliance Officer. I'll make that motion. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Um, resolution number six. six, appointing members to the Gloucester Township Planning Board. January 3rd, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. Entertain a motion. Second. On the question, roll call please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winner? Yes. Mrs. Trotto? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution number seven. Resolution appointing members to the Gloucester Township Historic and Scenic Preservation Committee. Dorothy Morley for four, uh, five years, January 3rd, 2020 to December 31st, 2024. Entertain a motion. Okay. On the question, roll call please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution 9. Resolution appointing members to the Gloucester Township Housing Authority. Thomas Carter for one year, David Mayer for one year. So I a motion. Thank you. Multiple dwelling. Multiple On the question, roll call please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Trotto? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Number nine, resolution appointing members to the Gloucester Township Housing Authority. Scott Marks for a five-year term. I entertain a motion. So move. Second. The question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution number 10, resolution appointing members to the Blackwood Lake Advisory Committee. Robert Irvine for two years, Paul Byer for two years, Robert Keller for two years, and Kenneth Davidson for two years. Entertain a motion. Second. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution 11, resolution appointing members to the Gloucester Township Zoning Board of Adjustments. Frank Samarillo for four years, Arlene Cimento for four years, Dorsey Kelly for two years. I don't see a motion. I'll make that motion. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strada? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution number 12, resolution appointing the Gloucester Township Public Defender. Glenn Leary for one year. Motion. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution for policies and procedures for the Office of the Tax Collector for year 2020. I entertain a motion. Second. So moved. Second. <laughs> On the question, roll call please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution 14, resolution appointing uh, council liaison to the Gloucester Township Housing Authority. Scott Owens for one year. I'll make that motion. Second. On the question, roll call please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Number 15, resolution appointing council liaison to the Blackwood Lake Advisory Committee. Michelle Winters for one year. I'll make that motion. Second. On the question, roll call please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution 16, resolution appointing council liaison to the Gloucester Township Municipal Utilities Authority. Orlando Mercado, one year. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison. Yes. Mr. Mignon. Yes. Mrs. Stubbs. Yes. Mrs. Winters. Yes. Mrs. Strada. Yes. 
Mr. Mercado. Yes. Resolution 17, resolution appointing council liaison to the Gloucester Township Historical and Scenic Preservation Committee. Andrea Stubbs, one year. I'll make that motion. Second. On the que uh, question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution 18, resolution appointing council liaison to all Gloucester Township veterans organizations. Uh, Tracy Trotto, okay. one year. Uh, is there a second? Second. On um, the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Trotto? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Resolution 19. Resolution appointing council liaison and members to Gloucester Township Advisory Committee for Recreation and Parks. Michael Mignon for one year, Nicholas Trotto for two years, Debbie Carr uh, for two years, Christopher Paisani two years, and Jeff Freeman for two years. I entertain a motion. So moved. Second. On the question, roll call please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Mignon? Yes. Mrs. Stubbs? Yes. Mrs. Winters? Yes. Mrs. Trotto? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. The resolutions uh, 20 to 24, we're going to cobble those together and take them as one. I entertain a motion. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison. Yes. Mr. Mignon. Yes. Mrs. Stubbs. Yes. Mrs. Winters. Yes. Mrs. Strato. Yes. Mr. Mercado. Yes. We'll now open up the public portion. Anyone wishing to speak, please raise your hand. Seeing none, we'll close the public portion. You please rise for the benediction by the Reverend Dr. William B. Wilson of the Chews United Methodist Church. Let us pray together. Gracious God, we thank you for these men and women who have been elected to this distinctive office to serve you in this community. Bless them and be with them. Enable them to see in each person the child of God you made them to be. Bless them throughout this year. Bless all of our leadership in our community and in our state and in our country, and we give you thanks for this community, and may we go forth bearing witness to your love in this world, that to those whom love is a stranger, may they find in each one of us a generous friend. Amen. I now entertain a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out. Uh,